to the point raised by the Honorable Leader of Majority of this House, uh, Honorable Kimani Chungwa. Yes, I'm familiar. Uh, I'm aware that um, at the time I served in this ministry, in fact, one of the biggest challenges was financing sports. And uh, Mr. Chairman, my biggest achievement as Minister for Sports at that time was the enactment of the Sports Act. In fact, for the brief period that I was in this ministry, I took it upon myself to accelerate the process of enacting this law. And it is in this law that we provided for the establishment of the fund. But I left the ministry before the institutions established under this law are actualized, one of them being the Sports Fund. After the law became operational, there were changes. There was an, an amendment to this law that spread the benefits of this fund and even renamed the fund from what we had crafted in the original piece of legislation. And it's now called the Sports, Arts, and Social Development Fund. And the Honorable Majority Leader, you may want to know that under the regulations put in place by Treasury, 60% of this fund for the last several years has been going to healthcare. It is something which I believe government should take a fresh look at. Because if this fund was intended to accelerate the development of the sporting and creative industry space, then the priority should go to providing support to those two areas. Today, sports is only entitled to 35%. And, and often, I hear, even those percentages are not remitted to those two important departments. And so it is an area that I would definitely pay priority to. And um, I would um, definitely engage Treasury and other departments of government in the spirit of co collective responsibility in government to return priority of this fund to its original intention so that we do not have cases where we hear our athletes arriving late in Oregon for important competitions, where you hear of uh, incredible stories of horror of our athletes spending nights at airports because of um, mismanagement and limited resources. So yes, Honorable Majority Leader, this is an area that I'll pay attention to.